Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about Raptorium. It's one of the newer CPU mineable coins that are out there. It actually only hit mainnet uh, February of 2021, if you're watching this in the future. But either which way, it's already profitable. And it has a heck of a following. They're already throwing themselves onto different exchanges. They haven't got the main exchanges yet, but they're getting there and they're putting a lot of effort into building it. So I want to take a look at this today for you guys and how to mine it using Hive OS. So first we're on their main website right here. And like any other coin, you need to get a wallet. So for a wallet, Go to downloads right on their web page right here raptorium.com not org com um, downloads and it will take you to their github page which has their wallets on here and it depends upon if you're running windows or mac os or linux so just download whichever one you want it's very similar in style if you've ever used the um stock one for Ravencoin. It's basically the same style. Uh, let me jump over here real quick because I have mine sitting in a virtual machine. Right here. And once it's fully loaded up, you can now see like I've got 19,000 coins right now. But it is a regular one. Um, transactions. And it looks literally spitting image of what the Ravencoin was, Ravencoin wallet is. It's just uh, redone for Raptorium. So once you have that, let's get off of this. Then we can go on over to Hive OS. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. You could just set the flight sheet for it and immediately start mining on your CPU. That's not the best option when it comes to Raptorium. They have the ability to specifically tune your miner to the CPU that you actually have. Because remember, Silicon Lottery actually does have an effect on this algorithm. And this algorithm, speaking of which, called Ghost Rider, it is actually sort of on the same lines of how ProgPow and Kapow has multiple algorithms built into it. It's not based off of that. It's actually based off of a bunch of the uh, Kryptonite algorithms. And it bounces around, ran I'm sure it's not randomly, but it bounces around. And that's one of their ways of being ASIC resistant and keeping it just CPU only. So it's kind of hard to nail down an average hash rate. You can technically see it if you let it run for 12 hours in the minor screen itself the log file and it will tell you an average but it's not cut and dry like ethereum mining where okay a 1660 super gets 31.5 mega hash and it bounces around maybe 0.1 mega hash now this does fluctuate from like i got a 3900x running at 3.8 gigahertz one volt no pbo nothing else like that just full-on 3.8 gigahertz go at it um it'll bounce anywhere between one kilohash to i've seen it as high as four at spike up to four um i average around three kilohash with that cpu so with that said let's go look at the flight sheet Ignore the first half here, because I do have a 3060 on this rig, and that is dual mining Raven and Zilliqa. What we want to look at is the Raptorium part of the miner sheet, which is right here. And let's go to edit, and which is right here. So your coin, RTM, your wallet, add in your RTM wallet address. Pool, configure in miner, because I am using a different pool. It's not in HiveOS yet. And here's the miner you actually want to use, CPU miner dash OPT. Now we got to go into setup miner config and make sure it's a Ghost Rider RTM algorithm. Here's one thing, miner fork, you have to do GR. That is the one that is set up specifically for Ghost Rider. Normally it'll go to the like nothing or CPU power or something else make sure you get GR. Otherwise, it won't work. Um, Wallet.worker name in here, Stratum. Now see, I'm using rpool, so I had to manually add it in here. 
config override, this is where you want to add your threads. Now, my CPU, a 3900X, has 12 cores and 24 threads. Never set the full 24. You always want to leave one or two threads available. This way, it can handle GPU mining like it is in the background, the regular operating system information that's constantly being transferred back there. It doesn't bottleneck the whole system. So I run it at 22 threads on this CPU. Now, donation zero, don't worry. I'm not cheating them out of money. It's just the easiest way to set it. Normally, the donation amount or um, the death fee is 1.75%. The lowest it can go is 1.25%. If you set it to zero, it automatically defaults to 1.25%. I'll show you in a second when we actually get to the minor logs. I'm not cheating them out of their money. I'm just bringing it down to 1.25%. Now, here's the big thing. Tune full equals true, actually colon true inside parentheses. Always add this and you can leave it in there. What this does, Tune full, it takes, I think it's 120 minutes. It's about two hours worth of tuning. It will run in the background. And again, I will show this to you in a second here when we apply this flight sheet and we start over again. Because it's actually currently tuning as I'm recording right now. I'm going to restart it. But this tuning, it doesn't actually put any hash rate out to your pool for the first two hours. And it's only once. And it's trying to find the best optimization so you can get the highest hash rate. So it's worth it to spend the two hours and get it fully optimized, after which it saves the file onto your hard drive. And every successive time that you restart the miner, it will see that file and just immediately pull that information and start mining to your pool of choice. So with that said, let me cancel out of here and let's go and restart the miner first. Now see, right now it was tuning. We're gonna restart from the beginning. See right here it says, could not load tune config file. It's cause it doesn't exist yet. So now, since we set that tune to full, it's going to do a full tuning uh, default. Full tune takes 115 minutes, so just shy of two hours. Let it do it. It's worth it, trust me. Um, once it's in there, you can see MSR Ryzen 1, Zen 2 architecture, and I'm using 22 out of 24 threads. So right now, it's going to test each one of those little algorithms that are in the Ghost Rider main algorithm, and it's going to find which one's the fastest. Once it's done, it will start mining. So at that point, we will come back and I will show you it actually mining. Oh, and the other thing I want to show you too, before we get too far here, setting the minimum donation fee of 1.25%. Now see, it's actually not zero. It just defaulted to the lowest amount available, which in this case is 1.25. So I'm not cheating them out of their money. And just in case you're trying to figure out how to get to your receive address to put in the Hive OS for your Raptorian wallet, yeah, just go File, Receiving Addresses. And there you go. You use one of those two addresses or you can add more addresses. So real easy. That's where you get them. Okay, so it's been two hours. We can actually see it's mining to a pool now. It has finished the tuning phase for it. So if I go over to shell in a box, and we can see here 3.3 kilohashes a second, and down here 2.8 kilohashes a second. You can see it bounces around. It's just the way that the algorithm works with Ghost Rider. So what I want to do now is actually restart the miner so we can see the beginning of it and to show you you can leave that full tune in your argument in your flight sheet and it doesn't do anything now. So let me go up here and where is it? Miner. Restart the miner. Let's shoot over here and wait for a few seconds for it to take effect. There's a the control C. 
And here it is restarting, and right here, tune config loaded successfully. So now it won't go through another two hours of tuning. It goes like that, it's immediate. Uh, we're back to our 1.25 for the dev fee, and we are mining. Everything's perfectly fine. That's all it takes to really start mining Raptorium. Now, I am by no means an expert in Raptorium. So, down in the video description below, I will also put a link here for the Raptorium Discord server. These people know Raptorium in and out. So, if after watching my video, you can't get it to work for some reason, you can try asking me over the Mining Misfit Discord, but the true authority will be right here on their own Discord. So thanks for watching, thumbs up please, and I will see you on the next video.